The only time we knew is from the x-ray at the hospital when you were sick. They wanted to do x-rays or a, what it's called, CT scan, whatever. Not a CT scan, but like a CAT scan. CAT scan, yes. To find out you don't have pneumonia, walking pneumonia, because that's only how they can figure out if you have pneumonia or not. So that's how we found out. The doctor said you had scoliosis. They, they found out from the scans or the x-ray. And when you tell a person, oh, your kid has scoliosis, of course, the parent is going to feel like, what is that? You never heard of that word before, so how are you going to know what it is until you search it on Google? But of course, doctors and people tell you you're not supposed to search things on Google because it only makes it worse. And that's when the parents panic more. So that's why you go to the doctors or the hospital or a specialist like this here to tell you more details about it. And when you find out what scoliosis is really is, then yeah, you're gonna break down because of course you never heard of that word, like I said, and you're gonna have to have a special treatment like seeing this doctor more often and the other doctor, and then you're gonna need a brace and they, they size you because you grow, so you're, you're growing. So you have to switch different brace to make it fit your height or your weight. You already had three braces. And you only wear that brace during nighttime when you go to bed and you take it off in the morning when you wake up. But when the doctors ask you, when you get your brace after they size you, that brace, they test it out on you and they put it on you. So if it feels super tight or it's digging in your skin or something and it hurts, you need to explain to that doctor or nurse that's, you know, putting your brace on you to try it out. That way they can kink it to fix it to where it fits you just right and it's not hurting you, it's not too tight or it's not digging in your skin or anything like that. So that way they can fix it to your to your right comfortableness. I have both first legs, so that's why I don't understand. That's why I said when you if you have to wear a brace again, you need to explain it when you get your brace. Because you're a very special girl, that's why. You're intelligent. Is that what birthmarks mean? Somewhat. No pain. Nope. School's going well. Mm -hmm. Any big plans for the weekend? I don't know. <laughs> See how the day goes. All right, come over this way. Let's take a look at your back. Can you turn around and face up? Can I have you move your hair out of the way? Do a little bit of a green tinge to your hair. Yeah, my husband dyed her hair. Nice. All right, can I have you bend over and touch your toes? And then stand back up. So just those two little curves there. No real change from last year, from the time that we stopped her bracing. If anything, the curves are even a couple degrees straighter. So that's a good thing. You can sit back on the table. So when we look at your x-rays here. Um, so you can see just by looking at it, if anything, the curves look a little bit straighter. Mm -hmm. So. This one's from today. Correct. And then this one's from last year. Correct. Oh, huh, cool. Isn't that great? Yeah. And then let's see from the time that you 
first started coming. When did this is when we started? I thought it was way worse than that. I'll get your very first one. This was from back in 2013 now. Yeah, so it never, never really got too bad because we never let it get bad. But this is... This is the one from April 2nd, 2013 is when we first started bracing.